straight. Um, the how to wear a PPP on. Um, so the whole concept of PPP is to cover yourself to a level that you are least exposed to the infection. We as a um, committee might have a different PPEs. I'm using this one for demonstration and I'll use another for a little later, which is an overall, which is a reusable one. And inshallah, we'll do a demonstration on that as well. So this is a simple one. First of all, before you put any PPE on, you have to wash your hands. This is the first thing. It has to be done in partnership. So one person make sure that you are covered when you are covering yourself. And inshallah, we will be two or three of us going to collect the janazah. So we will have plenty of people. So we look after each other. So inshallah, we'll be protected. So these kind of things what we have been using in our hospital as well. This is a single use apron, which has full sleeves. So it is like that, and it has ties to tie at the back. So the first thing after washing your hands and drying your hands is you put your apron on. I'm going to take my mask off for now uh, because I'm going to put a regular um, FFP mask as well, which we have reusable ones. So the way to put it is very simple. The sleeves is from the front and you put your head in first. In the, in the slot, you put your head in, head goes in. Now you have two sleeves to put it in. And simple as that. They, these kind of a things normally have a hole to put your thumb in. I don't do not use it for the thumb because that exposes my wrist when I'm doing something. So I put it in the middle finger, but we'll show you what to do. First of all, you tie yourself. So you tie yourself at the back, making sure that your front is totally covered because this is where the risk is. Hopefully, inshallah, the risk is not at the back. Can you ask someone else yeah. also to tie if needed? Yeah, you can. I mean, do not ask anybody else to gloves. So this is the stage where we put first pairs of, pair of gloves. So the first pair of gloves goes. And after putting first pair of gloves, so they are relatively clean gloves when you are finishing off at the end. And then you put your th hole through the middle finger. Right, like this. And you hole through the middle finger again. So you, you can you see it all, all covering right up to my wrist. Right? So it's covering my wrist, even the gloves are smaller, but it's still covering me whole. The second, now this, the second pair of gloves will go on. On top of this, making sure everything is all covered as much as possible. So over the wrist, so that's the second pair of gloves. Now my wrists are covered underneath as well. So now, I'm going to check myself, front uncovered. Sides uncovered. Back might not be totally covered in this type, but we do not do right from back anyway. Yeah. We have two pairs of gloves on top of each other, and my hands are not exposed even if I do that. My wrists are still inside protected with these gloves and the, and the sleeve of the, of, the, of the apron. This is the time to put your FFP mask on. I'm going to use my own mask, which I use in a hospital, and we have exactly the same type, three of them be looking like this so it has this head thing so best thing to do is put the head thing up pull it up pull it up go around your face right now what you need to do is at this stage 
Try not to hold the front of the filter this here. Hold from the side of the filter, put it on your nose, and head here, right? Now adjust it, now you're looking like this. Try not to hold the front of the filter this here. Hold from the side of the filter, put it on your nose, and head here, right? Now adjust it, now you're looking like this. Mashallah, a lot of people among us have beards, so we, make to, we got to make sure that it is fitting properly on you. So to check the fitting is this. You cover the hole, but you take a deep breath. And look at this, this will dip in. And I cannot breathe anything in. If it's leaking from the side, I can get the air in. That means it is not fitting properly, and I have to adjust using these. To tighten my, tighten my um, uh, straps. So remember, after putting it on, it is going to be a bit of challenge to start with, to getting used to it. Occlude and take a deep breath in. I can't breathe anything. This is very well fitted. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy now. Right? If we have a headgear, we'll put headgear over it. <coughs> Right? So if you put a headgear over it, this is how you're going to do it. The, this is called donning, or putting your PPE on. Most likely, Allah, Allah, may Allah forbid us for having this, may Allah protect us. Doffing, which is taking the PPE off, is a dangerous time. This is where if we are not careful, we're going to get the infection. So let's say, go to the doffing. Are we happy? For donning for now? Yeah, yeah. Whatever we wanted to finish. Now we have come to take our PPE off. I'm going to take my PPE off. Nails also to tie if needed? Yeah, you can. I mean, it's just, it's, do not ask anybody else to untie you because that is a potential yeah. of spreading infection. Um, in my training, the other day we did and we made a recording, uh, I have made a slight change on how to test whether your mask is a good fit to you. So the way it is put it, put it in your cameras, like a camera, put it on your face, and pull the string back to your head. Now after doing that, to make sure your mask is properly fitted, we have a piece of cling, which we are going to use, leave it on the table. So what you are supposed to do is put the cling onto your filter and try and breathe and if you cannot take a deep breath with the cling on that means this mask is perfectly fit if you can still breathe through while the cling is on that means this is leaking and you have to adjust it your straps from here so to show you again and take a try and take a deep breath this is dipping in without giving you any breath. That means this is a good fit. Jazakallah khair. So for doffing, let's say we have finished whatever we wanted to finish. Now we have come to take our PPE off. I'm going to take my PPE off by taking off my first pair of gloves. My first pair of gloves, I'm going to take, try not to touch from the outside, touch from the inside and goes in the bin straight. Second pair is the same. Do not touch from the outside. Touch from the inside, goes in the bin straight. Right? Now, I'm going to put a hand gel, because obviously there will be some leakage into your relatively clean gloves. Use your hand gel, make it cleaner. And this is the point. You have this glove, not totally clean, relatively clean, right? And this is the stage, you take your headgear off, goes in the bin. Or if we have a reusable, we'll tell you what to do. We might have some reusable, we have some reusable, and we'll tell you what to do with them, right? Then, this mask is the last thing to come off. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm, for the sake of this, I'm not going to break the penny, but I should not be touching the front of it. When I'm taking it off, 
the best thing is to go back and break this, right? Because you need it for practice. I'm not going to break it. I'm going to undo it. But normally, you should not be undoing it. And do not touch the front of the penny. Again, it will be dirty, right? Now, you go inside. Don't touch from outside. Inside, and you're going to take the sleeves off. One off, two off. Now I'm going to go inside again, at the back. Inside again, at the back. You need to break it, yes? And that goes in the bin. Yes. Straight away. You were meant to break it the back. When yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You were meant to break it. We are not breaking it because yeah, obviously because we're going to use it for practice. So you break it and you take it off. Right? Now I have gloves and I have a mask. At this stage, again, I'm going to touch from inside. Second pair of gloves goes in the bin. I go and wash my hands. Remember, 20 seconds is a minimum, not the maximum. Thoroughly wash your hands, first wet your hands, lots of soap on it, rubbing all over, rubbing thumbs, rubbing thumbs, going between the fingers, going between the fingers, tip of the fingers, both sides, tip of the finger, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, go up to your wrist, keep rubbing, until really minimum 20 seconds. I wouldn't mind you do 30 seconds instead of 15 seconds. Right, now you wash your hands. You dry your hands with the paper towel and you put the third pair of gloves. And your third pair of gloves, using that, you will take your respirator off. Remember, these are reusable and we're going to share it. So please clean it properly. Now I have clean gloves. My hands underneath are clean. What I'm going to do, is hold the respirator from my filter. This bit is a filter. Come again. See this, not touching anywhere to my body. What I'm going to do is hold the respirator from my filter. This bit is a filter. Come again. See this, not touching anywhere to my body. Comes off, right? I'm going to put a little tissue up there. So this is the first tissue I'm going to be going to use, the yellow ones. Please, brothers, when you open this, put it upside down because they go dry very, very, very quickly. So these are the detergent only. They come in a roll and we have a limited supply of them. So be, be careful, be mindful. So officially it should have gone on this like this, right? And then you hold it and you hold it. Don't touch inside. You go cleaning, cleaning all the, all the corners, edges, only from outside for now, only from outside, right? The same tissue should not go inside. So these are the, my bits I have to wash, I have to clean, that comes off. That's not a big, so the second tissue goes in the bin, right? Now I'm going to get, this is the second time I'm doing inside. I remember I used two of these yellow ones, one from outside, one from inside. Now I'm using two of the alcohol ones, one from outside only, one from inside, right? So this is the second time, so for double protection, right? You clean it properly, thoroughly, right? Because inside is clean, in the end, because this is all covered under your hat and everything, so it's unlikely to be very dirty. And you pull this string, pull this string over, over the wipe, and pull this down, and clean it all the way. And your mask is ready to be reused again. Simple as that. And there are boxes for them. Put them in the box for the other brothers to use. It is very important. Gloves off. Again, don't touching outside. Third pair of gloves off. You go and wash your hands again. You wash your hands again, properly, thoroughly. If you think you might have splashes, wash your face as well.
right? One thing I forgot to say, we have protective eyeglasses, right? We got to put them on if we are doing anything which can splash, right? So we have to put them on and then we have to clean them with these two things. It can go over the glasses. We have a couple of sizes if you want to use the different sizes. And this comes before the respirator. You wipe it clean, put it in the box you have done, are disposed of or safe, not lying around everywhere because this is going to be infecting, generating problem if we do not clean behind ourselves. Do we have to dispose these in the yellow bags? No, no, they don't need yellow. Well, I mean, do we have clinical yellow bags? We can try to get them. If we have clinical yellow bags, that is the best thing to do. Otherwise, they can go in the black bags, bags as well. The, but preferably, if you have a yellow clinical bag, yes. The reason I'm asking is whoever the garbage collectors, they don't know what is their infection yeah. things. So when you put in the uh, yellow bags, yeah. they know these are hazardous things. No, you're right. If we have, that is brilliant. If we don't, we have to tie them properly. Okay. I would advise to get some kind of, a, you know, the, um, uh, get the cable ties mm -hmm. that goes over. Mm. Right. One thing I forgot to say, we have protective eyeglasses, right? We got to put them on if we are doing anything which can splash. Right. So we have to put them on and then we have to clean them with these two things again. Right. These protective glasses are, are like that. It goes over even if you have glasses, they can go over your glasses. This is the worksman, what the worksmen use. It can go over the glasses. We have a couple of sizes if you want to use the different sizes. And this comes before the respirator. You wipe it clean, put it in the box, in the same box, so that one, and then your respirator, clean respirator and do this. Once you have done all this, now you are free, inshallah, to go. But make sure all the things you have done are disposed of or safe not lying around everywhere because this is going to be infecting, generating problem if we do not clean behind ourselves. We have to be very, 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 very careful. Any questions? Do After that, what our document says and what we should be doing before going home, just in case, if we are still carrying an infection or potential infection, Alhamdulillah, in this masjid, there's a shower facilities bring an extra pair of clothes with you before you go home, do a shower in the masjid, change of clothes, put your clothes in a, in, a, in a shopping bag or something, and straight away when you reach home, put them in the washing machine and wash them at a higher temperature. You, all you need to do is put them in the higher temperature. It can go in the other load as well, so it doesn't need to be a separate washing machine and washing separately, no, as long as you put at 60 degrees or plus, inshallah, it will be fine. Okay, Zakil Akhair. And inshallah, we'll demonstrate the other one. So inshallah, after putting our PPE on, the two pair of gloves, the full body cover, respirator, eye cover, and a hat. Then inshallah, we'll go to collect the body. When we go and collect the body, mortuary, Three of us will go, inshallah, and the guy from the mortuary will help us. If it's a COVID body, we're going to put it in the, whether it's a COVID body or not, we're going to put it in the coffin, in the wooden coffin, straight away. If it's a COVID body or a suspected COVID body, which we are not going to do hustle for, we're going to use this electric screwdriver behind and seal the, seal the, all of the body around. And we'll use the, the sealant um, silicone. silicone to seal the um, uh, edges of the, of the coffin. So no infection can come out and we are protected. Then we will, before leaving the, before leaving the um, mortuary, outside the hearse, what we're going to do is spray one portion of thick bleach and two portions of water already diluted in there and spray all over the, cof the wooden coffin. Then only we'll load the coffin into the private ambulance or hearse, whichever is available. We'll take the body straight 
to the graveyard. So we have to time it well. There might be an occasion where you won't be able to. We'll get to that. But we'll inshallah take the body straight to the graveyard. The team leader will be the imam or one of the team member will be the imam of the Salat al -Janaza. Only family members which should not be isolating should come to Salat al -Janaza. And I think if I remember correctly, there are only 10 people allowed. Maximum. Maximum. So, and social distancing has to be maintained even in Salat al So when we do normally our Salat, we do not leave spaces between them to Shaitan to come in. But these are special times. These are special requirements. So we inshallah keep the distance and we perform the Salat al Normally we do not do Salat al in the graveyard. But these are again special times. We have to do Salat al in the graveyard. Inshallah, Allah will forgive us and Allah will accept our whatever we are doing. We'll take body straight to the grave. It will be six people needed. So we'll use some of these uh, guys from the council. Um, thank you, Dr. Omar. Um, from uh, the uh, mortuary straight, we go to the graveyard. We have the two stands. We'll keep the two stands. And the uh, uh, cuff and, uh, the casket will be kept there. So Latul Janaza is done with two meters apart. One of uh, the team leader, uh, Al Widad, myself, Tawfiq, all, all those who have been the Imam for each masjid will do the Salatul Janaza. After that, the council will provide every time three ropes. So the ropes will be tied with the, with the Janaza to lower the coffin down. We lower them down. Instructions are given. Each team leader will explain to them how they do it. Go down the, the coffin immediately and leave the ropes inside. You don't take the ropes outside because they'll be they're disposable. Uh, disposable. They're disposable. After that, we're allowed to take a little bit of sand and put it there and immediately to uh, let the grader do the, the job. And then after that, the family can do it. I want to emphasize one thing though. The family members, they come without gloves, without masks. They should be told to come there with, before they come, they have to have this. They have to come before time also, because the slots are so, so, uh, of uh, Geneza are so tight. So they should not be able to just go at their own time, inshallah. After that, immediately disperse. We don't need to stay there. Or after Geneza, everybody goes back. I think I have um, explained everything. Okay. Yeah. So, and then after that, uh, doctor, we will have to disinfect the house again. Yeah. Because we have to disinfect the house because you have uh, carried uh, the genes and everything. And then you will go and wash yourselves. But the doctor so, will explain to you at, after that. As I said, the putting of PPE and taking the PPE will only happen in the hub, in the masjid air. I know it's going to be tight. I know weather might be hot and you might be not very comfortable, but this is in your safety. Do not take anything off anywhere else. You have no way to clean them. You have no way to secure them and you are exposing yourself to the infection, right? So what we're going to do is we come back to the hub. We do the doffing means taking the, um, uh, the RPPs off as we explained twice now and then we'll have a shower, change of clothes, and inshallah we'll go home, right? But it is very important to do that. It is very important to clean your masks properly for the next brother to use them. Please, please follow all these rules. Otherwise, we will be in trouble ourselves. We have to be very clear. The procedure do not, like we in Deen, we do not innovate. <laughs> we should not be innovating in it either. Right? Because this is very simple. This is your safety. This is my safety. This is everybody else's safety. So please follow the rules. They are done after consultation with other people and, and the other masajid in, in the areas where there are more and more COVID burials are happening, like Leicester and Birmingham. So Jazakallah khair. This is, this is what we're going to do, inshallah. And may Allah protect us. Um, what we need to do a little bit more with the body which is a already because it might be a nine o'clock slot or eight o'clock slot in the in the um in the graveyard yeah. then we might have to collect the body a night before right if we have to collect the body an hour or night before 
then inshallah we'll use the Jama Masjid's central mosque refrigerator to keep the body in overnight. Is that the non COVID one? Is that right? No, it could be COVID, COVID or non COVID, both. It's sealed already. So. They're already sealed, right? So the risk is low. So once the coffin is sealed, then we do not need the respirators. We do not need the full sleeve spinnies. We need a, a apron, which Morsery is going to, inshallah, provide two of us, um, and double gloves. So it's still double gloves, surgical face mask, a surgical face mask like this, the body cover, which is sleeveless, and two pair of gloves. Just in case if we rip one pair of glove, right? And we'll take them. But this is only either for the known COVID, which is going to be less and less, or when we have already sealed the body a day before or, or hours before. When we collect the body, we still be in the full PPE and we have to be very careful. And sealing, that's our face mask with the not, not, not hospitals. Sorry? Sealing. If we have to do the sealing. Oh. Right? We'll have to do the sealing. We'll have the silicone sealant with a gun. We'll have the screwdrivers, inshallah. When you leave, put the things back. Put the screwdriver on the charge so the next team will find them reusable straight away. We have to look after each other to be productive. We have to look after each other to be safe. So inshallah, this is what the process is. May Allah accept our little effort we're doing and keep us united and, and, and healthy. Jazakallah khair for the people who have... And a chance to try to... And don't forget to spray the hearse once the body is buried. Because when we come back, the, the hearse or the, or the ambulance will be empty. Right? And we are going to sit in that spray. Even when you go with these to bury the body, you have to come to the masjid to take them off and your pennies and your gloves. Do not try and do in the graveyard or somewhere else because there is no secure way of disposing these potential infected um, gear we are using. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Muhammad Rabbi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had give us uh, this hidayah, Dr. Omar, Dr. Abbas and myself and other uh, brothers who have made it possible. In Milton Keynes we have done, uh, we have chosen a um, Masjid Wolverton to be our hub for the community burial. We have formed like something called Milton Keynes uh, burial group uh, for all the masajid in Milton Keynes. The hub is uh, been established today and uh, the, uh, this is the place we're going to put on PPE and put off the PPE. All these things have been labeled for us to know. They have uh, fresh new brand new masks for the volunteers to take to use them. Glasses, uh, uh, all these things, drills, the things to be taken with you when you're going, everything, and um, it will be uh, uh, done here. Once you finish, everybody will have to come and remove their PPEs here, and they will have to come and take a shower themselves here. There is a shower before going home, so people will have... Uh, can you close it? You'll